What do you do when your opponent is on fire when they're not missing anything? This is one of the most frequently asked questions for my students. And I thought I would address this in this very quick video. It's just gonna be a 10 minute video and I'll show some examples. This is a very common question asked by a lot of players in a lot of different sports and it's not just in tennis. It could be in basketball, it could be in football, it could be in ice hockey, it could be in any other sports where you're competing against other people. And you definitely do not want to be asking this question when you're in a boxing ring. Uh, when Mike Tyson was at his peak, you did not want to be in the ring with him. So that's what you needed to do, not get in the ring. It's simple as that. But as for tennis and other sports, self-awareness is super, super important in this case. If you know you're absolutely doing your best and your opponent is crushing you, there's absolutely nothing you can do. You just have to hang in there and hope that their level goes down. And that's all you can do. And it's not just exclusive to tennis. I mean, you see this in other sports as well, like in basketball, when Michael Jordan was on, like there's absolutely nothing any of his opponents could do. I mean, they were just like, there's nothing I could have done. You know, you, you got a three, he drives the ball in. You, you try to stop him from penetrating, he steps back and shoots a three. And when you triple team him, he passes the ball. It's like. When somebody's on, there's absolutely nothing you can do. Same with Roger Federer in this game. I'm the dead ball. I thought he could take the ball so early. Footwork is so explosive, yet you don't even know it. Gets the shot that was killer down under. Who's the single lander? And it's been a fast start. Oh, so the second serve. Certainly caught the dial by surprise. A long run without winning on the surface. Oh, it's stunning. The back end is looking well out. So tight to the baseline. It's so hard. It's so early. Look at the net clearance there. That's extraordinary. Roger Federer is on fire. What a start. The Swiss has got a double break. Wow. Backhand's on fire. Returns on fire. And they will be. His focus, and he, he knows that there are a lot of players, a lot of athletic players out there. And at the end of the day, you have to be very focused, and you, you got to work on your game. You got to, you don't take shortcuts. You do every little thing that you know makes the difference between you and the next guy. And Delighted with the start. Be well aware of the fact that it's going to be very difficult for Roger to maintain this level of play. Oh, that's naughty! It is. He's brought out the saber. Nick. Federer has got 
is yeah, great for Ivan. In a very sticky situation here. Six what a start. The Swiss man is impressing. Dug up some good information here. Look at this Federer backhand hit point. The vast majority of them uh, just inside the baseline. And if you have a look at that average as we squeeze all the balls together, you can see where that contact point is almost about half a meter inside the baseline. And of course, when he takes it early and rips it cross court, that's where he's sitting the vast majority of his winners as we swing around to Nadal's side of the court. Look at the sharp angles. Those red balls are the winners. And just enough variety with those two winners down the line. But early, hard, good angle. Backhand's on fire tonight. Really attack that forehand. Look at these backhands. All cross court. We've seen the Watha return of serve. But initially going to this game well. Great analyst. Game fair. Playable at the moment. He's fair. Degree. Oh, even redlining his game. Raise the bar. Federer in this form. It's been outplayed really from the first ball to last so far. All too easy. Federer is making it look that way. Well, he's playing at galactic levels this evening. It has been a complete performance. It's in. What a way to finish. What a performance from Roger Federer. A nation of his great rival this evening. Nadal never stood a chance. From first ball to last, Federer imperious. I mean, this guy was absolutely mainline today. Almost nothing Nadal could do. He was outplayed in every department. Perfection. Uh, and it was just raining down winners off that side. And it's the manner in which he's done it that is just simply astounding. Roger Federer is just playing amazing. And when your opponent is playing that well, there's nothing you can do. All you have to do is just hold on and hope that their level drops a little bit. In this case, Roger Federer level did not drop. I'm on TV, I've seen a lot of tennis on TV, but you never really un understand how smooth and how relaxed and how fundamentally sound that he can make this game and you know, make it look. And I'm, I'm fascinated with how, how smooth he, he looks good in the shoes, without a doubt, but he makes the shoes look a lot better.